Good morning, everybody. Welcome back from Salmon of Scott Selections here for Sunday, May 1st. For again, today's play of the day, quick recap of what happened yesterday. Really not much to go through because we gave out a look at play in the second round of the NBA playoffs. Gave out a series play. So if you want to look for an NBA future for the second round, got you covered there. Check out the video before this one. But for today's play of the day, we're going to go to baseball. We'll get a matchup in the early afternoon between the Padres and the Pirates taking place at around 1.30 p.m. Eastern time. And for the play of the day, we're going to take the Padres' first five, minus half a run at minus 115 on DraftKings. Time recording of 4.15 a.m. Eastern time. Couple reasons why I like San Diego to get off to a hot start in this game. First of all, the Padres offensively have been amazing lately. The Padres have scored at least six runs in each of their last five games. So I do expect the offense to continue playing well, especially against this lackluster pitcher starting for Pittsburgh. You have Mitch Keller on the mound. Now, Keller's been a member of Pittsburgh's system for several years. He was supposed to be a pretty good prospect. The issue is he's been awful every year he's been on the team. You look at the numbers this year, not much different. Keller, so far this season, has pitched 17 and two-thirds innings, and he has a 6.62 ERA. To make matters worse, his numbers are even worse at PNC Park. So I expect him to struggle once again in the early going against the Padres. Plus, to go through his career numbers against San Diego's active batters, they are not very good. San Diego's active batters have had 36 career plate appearances against them, and they have an on-base percentage of a 467. In other words, Keller struggles to get the batters out about half the time, and I do expect that to result in a pretty decent beginning for the Padres offense, probably scoring three runs in the first five. But to go through the pitching uh, for San Diego, they have a really good pitcher on the mound because Joe Musgrove is on the mound, and he's been really good this season. So far, he's had 25 innings pitched and a 2.16 ERA. On top of that, he's been very good against, uh, against Pittsburgh's active batters because in 34 career plate appearances, Pittsburgh's active batters have a 217 on base percentage. So I do expect Musgrove to pitch pretty well and to build upon the success he's had up to this point. Well, I expect Keller to struggle once again against one of the hottest lineups in the league. Now, you could make an argument to take the full game. However, both teams bullpen-wise are pretty underwhelming, and we saw the Padres' bullpen, for example, blow a lead late. So I'm not going to take that chance. Instead, I'm going to bank on the red-hot offense to get off to another solid performance, while Musgrove should do enough to hold the uh, Pirates in check. Plus, if uh, the Padres end up only scoring two runs per se, in the first five, I do think that there's a decent chance Musgrove ends up holding Pittsburgh to one run. So either way, there are several ways to win this bet. Either Musgrove pitches well or San Diego's offense explodes, and I expect one of those to happen in this matchup. Plus, if you want to compare lines, minus 115 is a very good price because you can find the exact same bet at minus 130 right now on bet MGM. I do expect a lot of money to come in on San Diego going into this game. So I do think you'll end up seeing this line probably close around 130, 135, minus 115 with the much better pitcher and the much better offense is definitely good value to me. So I'm going to take it. Split it once again here for Sunday, May 1st. It's going to be on the Padres' first five, minus half a run at minus 115 on DraftKings. Bye, everyone.